My videos are normally a combination of some drone footage and some pretty dodgy music that I've written myself. But a few of you have asked, what equipment are you using? What rules are in place? What can we do? How much does it cost? So let's see if I can answer some of those. So starting with number one, once you've become a drone operator, you can put your sticker on the device and go flying. But I'd recommend while you're on the CA's website to apply for the pilot's license or the drone's flyer's license. Exhibit A. It's really easy to do. It's 30 multiple choice sort of questions. Now, I'm a pilot of light aircraft. When I did that, I did solo cross countries. I spent thousands on training. I did five written exams, skill tests, radio telephony license. It's quite involved. The drone flyer's license or their pilot's license is 30 odd multiple choice questions. You can do it again and again and again until you pass. It's a doddle. Nothing to be scared of. I think one of the questions was, is a drone either A, a small device that flies, B, a large cow, C, a noise your wife makes when she's moaning about doing the washing up? It's easy. Actually, thinking about it, I got that one wrong. Sorry, dear. But it's a doddle to do, nothing to worry about, so I'd advise you go and do it. Learn, be safe. Now we come up to number two, moolah. How much is it going to cost us? Okay, my little drone cost me £550. That's because I bought it as part of the kit called a Fly More Combo. Now, the Fly More Combo kit has additional batteries, a multi-charger, a case, spare propellers, just in case, screwdrivers, cables, all sorts of bits and bobs. Great value for money, considering the price of the normal device and additional batteries, because the batteries on these things are very expensive. So you've got 550 quid for your drone, that's okay, semi. Your license, nine pounds, and that's it. You're off, you can go flying, but the law says that if you do chargeable work, you need to be insured. Now, chargeable work means if your mate says to you, can you take a picture of my house and I'll buy you a beer? That's chargeable work. You need to have insurance for that, just in case you crash land it into his Ford Fiesta next door. Companies online will give you full third party drone insurance. This one's for 12 million that I've got, and it cost me 40 pounds a year. So it's not the end of the world, dead easy to do, and it basically covers your backside. So you've bought a drone, you've got insurance, you've got your license, you've got your operator's ID, and you've stuck the little stick on your drone. Hey, we're good to go, we can fly anywhere. No, you can't. There's still some limitations. You're not allowed to fly a drone in any restricted airspace. Restricted airspace means something like an airport. You go and fly your drone at Gatwick Airport, you will get shot and trust me, that's gonna ruin your day. Other things you're not allowed to do is fly in any temporary restricted airspaces. If a seaside resort is having an air show or a kite festival, something like that, they need to register their event with the Civil Aviation Authority and that will then get issued out to different pilots all around the world using a thing called a NOTAM, a Notice to All Airmen. The app on your phone that controls the drone will download the latest list of Notice to All Airmen and it will tell you if you're trying to take off in an area that's restricted. And it'll even come up with a little graphic with a boundary so you know how far away you've got to go before you can take off. So, we're good to go, yeah? No we still got a couple of limitations. One is height. You're only allowed to fly a drone up to a maximum of 400 feet above ground level, not sea level. If you're up a mountain, you can still go 400 feet above that mountain. When it comes to horizontal, even though your drone is quite happy to go miles away and come back, you're only allowed to fly as far as the eye can see the drone. It has to be within clear line of sight. Not just for you, but you can have a spotter to help you. Someone that's got a better eyesight, maybe a little bit further down the field away from you. It has to be within their visual range or 500 meters, whatever is the shortest. So we're not allowed to fly in anything restricted. We're only allowed to go up to 400 feet. We're only allowed to go up to 500 meters. Sounds pretty rubbish, doesn't it, really? No, it's not. It's absolutely brilliant. 400 feet up and 500 meters out, which is 1,600 feet or a third of a mile, is actually a lot further than you think. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my drone out. 
I'm going to set it up and I'm going to fly up to the maximum height, out to the furthest, to give you an idea of actually how far we can go. Okay. She's up. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how high 400 feet actually is. my visual check. It's a long way up. Let's just see what that looks like from up there. That is a long way. So let's take a ride. So we're doing 14 miles an hour. It's a little bit windy today. A little speck in the sky that I can see it. I can just see it still. Lucky it's not too bright otherwise uh, that would probably be my maximum where it is now. So we are around about 1600 feet away, a third of a mile. I can just see the drone, like a little pinprick it is. But it has got a little flashing light and I can just see it. See, the app stops you breaking the law. It's brilliant. Maximum flight distance reached. Let's start coming back. As you can see, 1,600 feet and 400 feet up is a very, very long way. Plenty.
This lady in this house has messaged me on Facebook. She wants me to take some pictures of her house. So what I'm doing now, I'm using both levers to go right and at the same time I'm altering the yaw, which is the left and right movement, to try and keep the house in the centre of the screen. Looks easy but it's a lot harder than you think actually. I'm recording you now. I'll send it over soon. Yeah. Got some really good shots of it. Yeah, lovely. I've done one swooping right around it and then I'm zooming in from over the sea right now. No problems, I'll send it to you later. So there's my shots for her. Right, let's bring her back. Twenty percent battery. Let's bring her home. 